right, Sandra, thank you so much. Now a true entrepreneur, Juliana Rancic, is now adding a wine brand to her long list of ventures, including a reality show, a website, two books, a clothing line, and that's all in addition to her day job as an e-news anchor. Juliana joins me right now. Juliana, congratulations to you. Great to see you. Thank you, Maria. Good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. What makes XOG unique? You have just developed this new uh, wine, yeah. and it's in an interesting-looking bottle. Yeah, about nine months ago, I was introduced to the actual technology, and typically, you know how these relationships work in Hollywood. The company reaches out to the person in Hollywood and says, will you endorse a product? But it was the other way around with me. You, well, you went to them. I saw the technology you and like I said, I want to do a private label for you. And so that's how it happened about nine months ago. Uh, and what's really cool is it's so different. You know, and this really appeals to the woman who at the end of the day wants one glass of wine. Right. And she doesn't want to open a bottle and waste a bottle. And you say, I'm going to drink it two days later. You never do. It ends up being that orphan bottle of wine in, in your refrigerator. So this is great because all you have to do, it's the easiest thing in the world. You just unzip the packaging. Right. And then it comes in these four individual shatterproof bottles, uh, cups, and you just snap it right oh, off. Oh, wow. And then, and then you, you just have, have a glass of wine. One glass portion control. Uh, these are shatterproof. You know, you can, it's not glass, so you can bring them to picnics, barbecues, they're great hostess gifts, uh, Thanksgiving's coming up. And, and it won't go bad because it's closed. You haven't opened the other one. Exactly. You haven't opened the other one, so you never, there's no waste with this. Uh, and I just, I saw this technology and I said, I have to do something with this. And actually, the first thing I did was I Instagrammed it. And about 10% of the people who liked the picture felt a need to comment. So I had something like 30,000 likes, but then... 10% of them commented and said, where do I get this? And I thought, you know what? I'm on to something here. I think there's a problem in the marketplace with women not being able to just have that one glass and not yeah. waste a bottle. And so I thought, you know what? I want to put my name on this. I want to create my own bottle. I love that. And that's what happened. So, so you, you used Instagram. How important has social media been for you about, you know, helping your businesses? I mean, this is just one venture. You've got a lot of them. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's been everything to me. You know, I'm very active in social media. I was kind of a... I was I jumped on that bandwagon a long time ago at the beginning when, when Hollywood people were first starting to jump on. And so now on Twitter, I think I have three and a half million followers. Across my social media platforms, I have six million followers. So for me, it's very powerful. And I, I, I ask them everything. You know, do you like Pinot Grigio or Pinot Noir? So I, I used my social media uh, platform as a way to do research on the brand as well. Well, with, with six million followers, you really can get specifics in terms of what what your audience and your fan base want. Exactly, exactly. And so it's been very exciting. You know, in nine short months, I was able to create this, this wine. And our very first meeting was Walmart, of all places. We aimed a little high. Um, and they bought it within 24 hours. Bill and I, my husband Bill Rancic and I, we flew to Arkansas. And we pitched to Walmart, just like everyone else does. And they just, they got it in the room like this. They realized that this was something that would attract the, the, the females at Walmart, the millennials. Uh, Walmart already has a great wine supply, uh, but why not add something like this that's different, that's innovative, and, and just a different technology that would appeal to those millennials. So you've got three wine varieties and it's priced under $10. It's priced under $10. We actually made this as a $15 bottle of wine. We sourced it from France and Italy. Uh, so it's actually a $15 bottle of wine, but because we were able to land at Walmart, we're able to offer it for under $10 because of the volume. Wow, that is fantastic. Yeah. Tell me about your other ventures right now. Juliana. Yeah, so I also have a clothing line at HSN called G by Juliana, uh, which is once again like the wine, very affordable, very accessible. I love HSN. You know, in, in one day on HSN, I can you know, debut a blazer. Okay, and I can sell over 20,000 blazers in one day on HSN. Tell me what department store you can sell 20,000 blazers in. Yeah. So I always search and people for. People questioned Home Shopping Network, and in fact, they it's are you kidding? It's a monster. Yeah. There's nowhere I would rather be. And I was approached by department stores and, and other private labels saying, do something with us. And I thought, no, I'd rather go to HSN where I can reach so yeah. many women. And, and there's feedback. You know, I get women calling me and saying, oh, my daughter wears my blazers, or you should offer this in red. I as love well. that. You so moved here as a child from Italy. I mean, I did. you've got to be living the American dream. You know, I have to say, that's what's so exciting about having my wine. 
at Walmart is that it is the American dream for me. I did move here as a young child. I watch my father, who was a tailor, a Neapolitan tailor right. in a tailor shop. I watch him achieve his dreams, and so it's nice to be able to do the same. Congratulations, Julia. We Mary. love it. Congratulations Thank on you. the wine. XOG is the wine. Check it out, Walmart and other places. Juliana Rancic joining us. It's time for Varney and Company. Thanks for being with us. Stuart, over to you.